Cześć, witajcie dzisiaj za nami z zawodnikiem KS Lumber Pogranicza Bryce'owi. Hi Bryce. Hello, Alwy. Dzisiaj przygotowaliśmy dla Was kilka pytań do Q&A. Siznął się ten hol. Agresywnie zaatakował Dubier. Alzione. Dubier ataka il ferro. E va prendersi una 2 più 1. E se vede Vosquil. Dubier ataka. Construisce il tiro dal. Pierwsze pytanie. Price, how do you like Dąbrowa Gronisza and generally Poland? I like the city a lot. Um, it's, it's kind of mid-sized city. You know, not as quite as big as Krakow or Katowice. Um, and I'm not a big fan of huge cities, uh, although I've enjoyed going to Krakow and Katowice. Um, so it's it's good size for me. I like it. Easy to get around. It has everything you need. And uh, the people are very friendly. Yeah, friendly? I like it. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks. Tanya, <laughs> Bryce, who do you work best with at games and practices? Uh, it's kind of hard to say at the moment right now. We've had, uh, as a most people probably know a lot of guys kind of come in and go okay right um so i worked pretty well with dominic when he was here uh with Tavaria shine before he left um so it's kind of rebuilding chemistry with guys there's a lot of new guys uh, but i would say i really enjoy working with philip with Marek. Um, Marek, Pichowicz? yes yes oh. so um Yeah, yeah. There's nobody I dislike working with. There are just some guys that you kind of more compatible with. Philip, especially because we play the same position. Okay, thanks. So that works. It's just a question, Bryce. What role plays religion in your life, on and off the basketball floor? Uh, religion plays a big part. It's not necessarily a religion. It's more of a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Yes. Uh, so I believe that. Um, as the Bible teaches that we're all sinners, um, that everybody is uh, destined for hell, and that is why Jesus Christ came to this world to die for our sins so that he could make us acceptable before God. Uh, so my relationship, uh, my religion, is to get to know that God who created me, the God who redeemed me and saved me better. Uh, so it plays a big part in giving me peace and giving me strength. Uh, it gives me purpose in my life. Uh, that I don't just play basketball for myself to make money or for this or for that. Uh, I play basketball to, to try to glorify God and to make God happy um, right. with how I live my life, how I play my life, and then be able to share God through basketball and through the things that I do in my life. All right. Respect for uh, not a lot of people think like you. <laughs> not, not, not very many do, which is sad, but uh, that's, that's why... Um, Well, it's nice to even have an opportunity like this right. to try to be able to, through basketball, share God with others so that other people would come to think like this. All right, thanks. Yeah. Each fourth question, as we know, MK is playing very poor this season. How does the team atmosphere look like? Do team morale go down with each defeat? Uh, yes and no. Um, there have been a lot of things that have kind of played into those defeats, not to make excuses, uh, but we've had a lot of players change um, we've had a lot of injuries in the over the last two to three months so yes the morale is down because we haven't haven't won a game in three months and everybody plays the game to win because because we love it I mean that's why you play uh, but I, I would say the morale is kind of on the way up because we we're finally coming together as a team we've got the pieces now that we that we know we'll probably have for the rest of the season with an addition of one more guy Um, and the team chemistry is getting better. So we're playing better as a team. It hasn't shown up in a win yet. Um, but I think things are definitely getting better. So I think the morale is on the way up. So it's not just depression and doom and gloom. All right, thanks. You're welcome. If you want to on rice, what's your favorite Polish food? Uh, I've tried the pierogi. Those are pretty good. Um, Polish food in general is, is I, I like a lot just because it's very similar to my diet, what I eat at home in, the, in America. Uh, but it's also the different restaurants I found here. There are a couple pizza places, a couple pasta places. Those are probably my favorite. So it may not be Polish specific, but made by Polish people. Okay. <laughs> you haven't tried Bigas? I have not tried Bigas yet. You, you need to try. I will definitely <laughs> do that before I leave. All right. <laughs> thanks. Okay, first question, Pytania, Bryce. Why did you choose Poland? What did you know about our country before coming here? Uh, I chose Poland uh, after talking with my agent. So in the summertime after the season, my agent and I look at uh, best options and best offers and different things 
uh, that go into that. And after talking with my agent as well as coach and some other players who had played here last year, uh, we felt like this was the best place for me uh, to be. Uh, I didn't really know a whole lot about Poland before I came here, uh, a little bit world history-wise. Um, I knew the, the league, the first league, is very respected in and around Europe. So it's a great place to play and have a good season to then kind of springboard your career to uh, to ho- hopefully higher and better things. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Okay, you should have a Bryce. What's your favorite player? Did you model yourself on him? Uh, my favorite player by far is Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan? I don't Jordan? think there's anybody that compares to him. Uh, so there are definitely things that I've tried to model my game after his, especially in the low post, a lot of his scoring, low post and mid post, um, and then just the overall versatility of his game. Jordan could score at all three levels, at the basket, mid-range, and even from outside. Feels great. Uh, yeah, so he's just, I guess, in the sense of looking at the perfect basketball player, that's what, that's what, that's what I look for and that's what I enjoy. So there are definitely things that I try to borrow from him. And, but. There are other players too that, that I enjoy watching and, and taking things from a lot of people's different right. games. So, uh, have you any favorite player from current NBA? Current NBA, uh, I would have to say probably Kawhi Leonard is Kawhi, Kawhi, Kawhi Leonard or great. Paul George. Great right defense, up. yes. Fantastic great defense. defenders. Uh, both Paul George as well, um, but they also get it done on the offensive end too, so they can score yeah. at all three levels too, and they're, they're just fun to watch. All right, yes. thanks. Okay, what's my pytanie, Bryce? Do you have any superstitions before the match? No, not really any superstitions. No. I just have a routine that I go through okay. pretty much every game. So I uh, start kind of off with form shooting, you know, kind of move, progress my way backwards to get a good feel for the for my shot, get a good feel for the game, then stretching, uh, okay. a little bit of agility, some core stuff. All right, how many shots do you usually take before the game? Uh, before the game, I would say probably close to... 100 uh, 150 somewhere okay. in that range. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Okay, Bryce. What made you play basketball seriously? Uh, did you have a lot of time to train when you went to school? Uh, my dad played professionally. So, oh. I've always had a love for the game and he taught me and coached me uh, from the time I was a kid, but I would say I really began to take it seriously when I was eight or nine years old. I was playing soccer too and I uh, oh, soccer broke my finger. And I couldn't play basketball for about three weeks. Uh, so after that, I was like, I'm done with soccer and I just want to play basketball. Uh, right. But yeah, it's always been a little bit of a challenge balancing training time with, uh, with school. Uh, but it, yeah, I've always been a fairly good student. I, pri- I prioritize my time well, so I've got, I got my homework done. And then my dad would always take me to the gym. So I'd work out with my dad. So. It was never a big problem for me. If if you really love something, you'll find the time to, to do it. Yeah, in Poland it's a problem, but we must learn a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. But in USA it's different. Yeah, it is, it is a little bit different. You still have, you, uh, you the emphasis is still on school, because if you don't do well in school, you can't play basketball. So you have to keep your goals focused. So if I wanted to play basketball, I needed to take care of everything in the classroom. So... When I did that, then I had all the time I needed to go to go work on my game. All right. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, i dziesiąte ostatnie pytanie, Bryce. What would you advise young basketball players with their plans and ambitions? Uh, I think the biggest advice and the best advice is to work hard. Uh, that's easy to say. Um, How to do. Exactly. So I think it's more so if you really have goals and you really have ambitions, you need to set uh, short goals to try to reach so you have something to kind of measure yourself by and how you're progressing forward uh, because it's easy to just set goals um, big goals and then be, get frustrated when things don't get you there so you need a lot of little goals to help you build towards that so I think it's a matter of setting goals it's a matter of every day uh, putting in the work doing the best that you can and uh Yeah, it's, and also finding a mentor, somebody who can really help you, who shares your goals, or who can help teach you and progress you. For me, I had I've always had my father there, who was a professional himself, who could teach me, take me to the gym. Uh, so it's good, but not everybody has that. So I think it's a matter of continually learning, continually trying to get better, and uh, yeah, trying to. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Dziękuję za oglądanie. To jest wszystkie pytania na dzisiaj. 
Dajcie znać, czy Wam się podobało, Bryce. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me, Oliver. Thanks. Trzymajcie się, cześć.